Those were some big fellas. Hey, what's up guys? So the job that we captured today, it's not something that's really expected of us to look after. Customer was concerned about a wasp nest that was on a street light. Now, if it was inside a pad mount in their yard, it's a little bit more understandable. This was like 30 feet off the ground in a street light. Chances are they're pretty harmless up there. However, the nest was quite large. After I was done the job, I discovered that they were in fact bald face hornets. As, far as I can tell anyways after doing some googling but so they're, they're quite aggressive and the customer that lived at the house right where the street light was was uh, had a very severe allergy to bee stings so they were quite nervous and again while I wouldn't expect any crew to just go up there and look after that it's uh if it's something I'm comfortable doing it's really good PR it's it's great for the customer they're much more at ease after we looked after the problem all right so I think I got a bit of a plan we're gonna use one of our extendo sticks. I made a hook on it. We're gonna hang the extendo stick off the street light with a can of spray. And then we're gonna use the second extendo stick to try to operate that from the ground. Being inside a bucket anywhere near a hornet's nest is not a good time. So we were gonna try and look after this from the ground. So I've definitely been stung before in the past, so I know I'm not allergic if I was. Definitely wouldn't attempt this. But as soon as I set that stick on the street, like the very second I touched it, that thing just came alive. And even though it's up there and I'm on the ground, when they're get when they're that agitated, 30 feet away, not far enough, real strong possibility of just getting swarmed by these guys, which it's not fun. Didn't want that to happen. So when they all get agitated, backed off, let them calm down a little bit, figured I'd come up with a plan B. And that's when I decided just to hold the stick with one hand and operate the other telly stick with the other hand, which again, about 30 feet up, one stick in each hand. It was tricky. My arms got tired out pretty quick, but we did manage to successfully absolutely douse that thing. So the stream was strong enough in the second can that it started to pierce the, the nest and actually the, the, the wasp spray was starting to soak the inside of the nest. It killed quite a few of them. They were dropping to the ground. Probably the most dangerous part at this point was some of that fluid started coming back towards me on the ground. So as soon as the wind started blowing up my face, I backed off and uh, waited to do a second round. It stood at a little bit different angle. But in between sprays, there was pretty loud buzzing all around me. And I started going through the grass and there was dozens of them all over the lawn, just basically dying there in the lawn. All right, so we got the majority of it now. We got the main part of the nest out. That's a big nest. Got that all sprayed. And quite a few of them hovering around here now. Should be enough to prevent them from coming back at least. I'll knock the rest of that down with a stick here now. Hold the can ready because I imagine a few of them will hit the ground with the nest. So I give the lawn this a little bit of a spray and once I was confident that we hit their nest pretty hard, I proceeded to just knock it off with a stick. Last thing I wanted is for that whole nest to fall and hit the ground full of bees because they tend to hover around, around the nest. So once that hits the ground, I'm going to bring all them guys down in front of me so I had a spray can lined up again took it off in a few small chunks and as soon as it hit the ground we give it a couple shot couple more shots we then took all the pieces of the nest swept it out in the street and I may or may not have ran over them with the truck multiple times so customers happy I'm happy you're happy everyone's safe and yeah just just kind of a weird little video that I figured I'd document because it's not something typical. We, we get wasp nests quite a bit, but usually I go up in the bucket and uh, get a real good vantage point and, and spray them. But this these ones here, I didn't even want to attempt it out of the bucket. So yeah, that's it. We're gonna wrap this up, hit the road. Be safe guys.